Okay, I wanted to show you a cannon carriage that I built. This is a scaled down version of an 1841 six pound cannon mounted on a, on a number one artillery carriage. It's all together dry fit right now. I still have to send it out to get all the metal hardware fabricated and mounted on it and then and then it's going to end up getting painted and then put back together and this is the first one I built this is kind of the prototype there's going to be another eight or ten of them but I just wanted to show you the the, the cannon carriage intact all dry fit and when this segment ends, when this video segment ends, I already shot a video that shows it all taken apart with all the pieces, and then I, I'll put it back together and I describe how I built it in the different parts. But I wanted to start this video out showing this, this carriage intact. You can see the camera and the wheels. And that's a, a three-quarter inch stainless steel shaft and, uh, and a brass bushing. And you can see the, the front view of it. This is made out of mahogany and it's going to be painted green, uh, like an army green satin finish. And you can see the taper, in the, and this is called the trail. It's tapered on three sides. So it consists of the wheels, the trail, the cheeks, and the, the axle body. That's this front piece here. And the, the cheeks are connected to the axle body with a couple of carriage bolts. So I just wanted to show the the carriage all together dry fit and then when this segment ends then it's going to start up and you'll see all the all the pieces the individual pieces laying on a table and then uh, and then I'll put it together all right okay I'm going to do an update on my cannon carriage that I'm building the last set of videos I made were on how I built these 14 spoked wheels and since then I built the rest of the carriage and dry fit it and it's apart right now I'm gonna put it back together in a few minutes and, and as I do that I'll just go through and describe the parts to it the first thing I did after I had the wheels done and glued up was drill out the hub at one inch and my buddy who is is gonna outfit this the carriage with all the hardware he turned these brass bushings so the outside diameter of the bushing is one inch inside diameter is right around three quarters of an inch and I set those in there they're, they're uh, just dry fit right now but I'm gonna glue them in eventually and and uh, this is this part here and it's called the the axle body and this is solid mahogany and what I did was this is three quarter inch stainless rod and I drilled the mahogany about four inches deep so this this uh, is set into the the, the uh, piece of mahogany four inches and it's just just dry fit right now but it's going to be glued in eventually and when I drilled that I drilled it on a three degree angle if you look at this carriage here you can see that there's a camber to those wheels and how they did it originally is they took an axle they took I'm pretty sure this is how they did it. They they welded the axle in the middle, um, or it was bent somehow to give it that camber, and then they built. So that's where all your strength was in the axle, and then they went ahead and built the the uh, axle body around that. They cut out the the the, uh, the bottom side of the axle body and set this set the. Uh, it was probably like a big timber they set it over that 
And uh, instead of doing that, what I did was just drill through here on an angle and set this three quarter inch stainless rod three quarter, um, four inches deep into here on that three degree angle. And I think that's gonna be plenty strong. So that's just dry fit in there right now. And then there's an in, inboard side and an outboard side to the wheels. This bushing doesn't go all the way through. It would have been a lot harder to, uh, I guess, to turn something that's four inches. It's, I think, uh, right around three inches. But um, that's still plenty of purchase um, for this, uh, this hub to ride on this three quarter inch shaft. And I also have, there's a couple of washers that go in here first. So this will run on here and then there'll be another washer to go on the outside and we still have to drill this and make up a pin to hold that in. So that's how the wheel's gonna ride like that. And it'll have that camber in there. So after I, I set that bushing in the hub, I built this axle body. I set the, the stainless rod in there. And this axle body, it's tapered um, from just outside of the cheek to the, to the very outboard edge of the axle body, it's tapered. And I guess I should mention this, I'm, I uh, scaled this, this uh, cannon carriage um, from a number one carriage, which carries a six pound, uh, 19, uh, 1841 six pound cannon and that's that's pretty much what I'm going off of that's th this cannon is real close uh, in dimensions to that what's well, a scaled down version of course but it's it's real similar to that 1841 six pounder so that's the carriage that I'm building so I ended up getting getting a set of uh, this really cool book from a place in Port Huron called Antique Ordnance Publish Publishers and it's, I think, 120 pages long, and it's all about this number one carriage. It's, it's really detailed, it, uh, down to the types of threads they use. They even, have, they even have some blueprints of the vices that they used to bend the, uh, to bend the hardware, like right here, vice for bending irons. They show the vice in all the dimensions for bending the hardware to go around here around the carriage. Here's the rondelles. So it's, it's pretty detailed. There's the elevator screw that, that uh, lifts the back end of the cannon up and down. So it's pretty detailed. So here's the, uh, the main part that I was looking at. And that uh, includes the cheeks, the three rondelles, which are spacers, and uh, the trail. So I scaled this all down. Um, by a factor of 0.3. And I had to make a few adjustments here or there, um, but it's, it's still pretty close to, uh, to a scaled down version of that number one carriage. So I've got the, I built the, the axle body, and then I, uh, I milled out the, the cheeks, and what I did was I ended up, uh, I just made a, a template a wood template for that. So, I'm in, as a matter of fact, I have templates for all this stuff. So, and jig. So, uh, I'm going to end up making probably eight or ten of these, so um, I could uh, reproduce them fairly quick. So, the cheeks here. I'm going to start putting this thing together. Here is the. It's called the trail, and this started out as just a rectangular piece. Um, let me get my tape measure. It's uh, two and nine sixteenths by two and five sixteenths by the length here. And then it's tapered, this back end is tapered on three sides. Not the bottom, but three sides. Um, the, the sides in the top. And uh, it's got this detail in here where it's stepped down. And the way I did that was I took this, this 90 degree router bit here, put it in my router table and I went ahead and set it to the right depth and ran this, so I put a groove in it and then I laid these lines out and I cut, I cut the top, this top profile first and then I flipped it on its bottom and I cut these two gradual uh, tapers on the sides. And then it's also tapered from, um, from here down and then this uh, 
and this dado is to receive the, uh, the axle body. And uh, next I'm going to show you the rondelles, which, which are these, uh, they're, they're spacers, there's six of them total. The, the front four are just spacers, but the back two, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you here, they're set into the wood, into the trail and into the cheek. And I did it a little bit different than uh, the original one, but it's the, same, it's the same idea. What these were for is, when this cannon fired, all the forces um, were pushed back on his, on his cheek, and they wanted to transfer those forces instead of just these three rods here holding, uh, holding the cheeks onto the trail, they wanted a little bit more surface area to transfer that force so when it fires, it transfers into the trail also. So the back set of rondelles are a little bit thicker and I just took a Forstner bit and uh, I drilled down three sixteenths of an inch on the trail and also on the cheeks. So. And then when, when you sink those in there, then the, uh, the width of the front two sets will be the same. So I'm going to start putting this together. And I found some, uh, I'm using 3 8 um, threaded rod. These go in here. And I found some, some square nuts at the hardware store that are really nice. They're, they're, uh, they're rounded on the edges here and they, uh, they, look, they look similar to what would, be, what would have been on the, uh, the original. I couldn't find, I didn't uh, find any bolts that long so I just used this uh, threaded rod and I'm, gonna have the, I'm just going to have the nut, nuts on both sides holding that together which should be fine. So I'll put this, this uh, first one through the back here. And I drilled my holes so there's enough clearance so I didn't, I'm not fighting them every time I uh, put this thing together because what I'll do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all together and I'm going to send it out to my buddy who's going to make all the, all the hardware for it. So if I need to make any changes like for instance to, to some of these radiuses to make the, um, to make the metal work easier, I could do that. I'm not going to paint it until all that's done. So I'll put this next one down. There's that one. Sounds like my phone's going off. I'll put two washers on this one. And then to hold, to hold the trail and the cheeks to the axle body, see now when, that's, when those cheeks are on there, these, these aft set of rondelles, they're uh, into that recess and so all of these look like they're just spacers. So and then to hold it on this, I've got a center line underneath here. This is the front. It's a pretty snug fit. That's that. It's got to get tapped over just a little bit. So it's starting to look like something. Let me just tap this a little. Okay, that should do it. Now, I have uh, two five inch, they're quarter inch 
by five inch carriage bolts, silicon bronze, running through here. There's the first one. I'm going to tap those down with a punch. And those heads are recessed under the, the, the top of the cheek, so when you put your metal uh, work over here, it won't uh, interfere with that. And I have the washers. And that's recessed in there. And the, the bottom of the, the carriage bolt is uh, underneath this surface here. So with that tying a cheek and a trail to this to this axle body, I don't I really don't think I'm gonna need a fastener here and here. There's gonna be a metal strap, that's how it was originally held, that uh, that is gonna put it's gonna be put into place and I don't know if it's gonna be through bolted or screwed, but this connection is pretty strong. And then the last thing, I'll just put the wheels on. I'll put the, uh, the washer on first. And then here's the cannon. That sits there like that. And I just put this under here because the cannon will probably sit something like that. There, this is where the elevator screw goes. But essentially that's it. Now I'm gonna send this out uh, to get all the, the metal work done on it. But I'm done for now on it. And then if I have to make any changes, I'll do that. I'll show you this old, uh, this Amish built carriage over here. You can see some of the metal work that needs to be done on it. Metal tires on the wheels. And then uh, these trunnion plates and all these little hooks uh, for the buckets and things. These bands to go around the axle body. This is for rope to go on. This is the uh, how you hook it up to the limber. And these are wheel guards. So there's a bunch of stuff that has to get done on it. So I just thought I'd do an update of it. It's all together. This is the first one. I'm gonna build, you know, probably eight or ten of them. So now that I have the first one down, if there's any other changes, I'll just make those changes and then and then start making, you know, maybe four or five at a time. And you can see the camera and the wheels when you look straight on. It looks like all the ones I've seen, all the pictures on a computer so there it is so that'll be it for now the next time I make an update it'll uh, it'll probably be all painted this is getting painted uh, this drab olive like this that's uh, that's how they were painted in the Civil War times so the next time you see it, it'll probably be painted and uh, this cannon still has to get uh, buffed out this is just uh, it's been cast, but there's been no work done to it yet. So it'll be painted and there'll be all the, the metal hardware on it. So that'll do it for now, okay?